everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so today I will be filling a watercolor palette and a gouache palette I started by picking the colors I wanted to use for the gouache palette all of the colors that I used in the gouache palette I will have linked in the description box as well as the watercolor palette. I did not end up swatching this gouache palette because I feel like the colors are pretty true to what comes out of the tube. I hope you guys are enjoying the voiceover more than the captions. I've gotten quite a few comments about how my captions can be hard to read, so I'm hoping this works better. I'm trying to be a little bit more adventurous this year, so you'll see a few colors here that I've never used or rarely used, so hopefully that'll encourage me to use them a little bit more this year. I purchased this palette on Amazon about a year ago and it's really nice for keeping gouache moist and easy to access. If you guys want to check it out, I will link it down below. So now I'll be setting up my watercolor palette. I'll be picking out the colors I want to use, which will be mostly Holbein and Daniel Smith. In these next few clips, you'll hear the sound of my lights in my studio. I'm still trying to figure out how to have enough light in there without the noise. goal for this palette is to have a warm and cool of each primary color and then also have a lot of earth tones because this year I'll be focusing more on watercolor landscapes. I've just recently tried Daniel Smith watercolors for the first time. And I've been in love with them ever since, so I added a few into this palette to see how they work with me throughout this upcoming year. Watch out all the watercolors really quickly. I'll fill in the color names later. Now that I'm finished setting up my palettes, I will go over some other art supplies that I want to really focus on this year.
I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think of the voiceovers, and I'll see you in the next one.